Hey, my name is Anders Gertmanis. I'm here today with Joe in Madrid, Spain to learn about their product, which is Biomac Thermal Hydrolysis. Excellent. Thank you very much. My name is Joe Ajala. I am the CEO of Econward LLC, responsible for the North American market. And what we do here at this company, at Econward, is um, thermal hydrolysis. It's a product called Biomac. It does thermal hydrolysis. And I will show you guys why this is so important. So, Yanis, what is happening here is a garbage truck bringing garbage into our facility. So you can see what is falling in there. So this is garbage that is collected in Madrid and in theory is supposed to not have any organics. But you will see what happened with this garbage. So come here. So what is happening here is that the truck just broke the rubbish and is dumping it here. This is called the receiving pit. In the receiving pit, you usually receive your multi-unit residential, uh, your industrial, you receive your municipal solid waste. So these things that you are seeing here, all of these plastic bags, all of these diapers, all of this is coming here. It's being picked up by that crane. That crane is going to pick it up and put it inside the hopper. And from that hopper, it goes inside the machine. Yep. And I will show you how it works there. Okay, so the garbage is being picked up from the receiving pit by this crane and it's being dropped into this hopper. From this hopper, it's gonna go through a metal separator and up into the Biomac thermal hydrolysis machine. And what happens in this uh, hopper? This hopper here, this is a shredder for, that is being used to open the bags because we get a lot of bagged garbage. And then that basically breaks everything apart, drops it onto the belt. Exactly, and, and it, it goes up, yeah. Machine. Very, very simple, very quick process. So, this is a Biomac thermal hydrolysis machine. What you are seeing here is four autoclaves in series on top of each other. So four pressure vessels on top of each other connected in series. And what they are doing is processing that garbage that we saw on the other side of the wall. So that garbage is going, it went through the hopper and now it's going through that conveyor belt and it's gonna go all the way up to that hopper there. That's called a feeding hopper. And then it goes through the four pressure vessels and it comes out and goes into that vibrating screen there. Yeah, that's quite an impressive machine. So, so what happens in each of those vessels? So the food waste drops into the top, um, top vessel and then it follows the way all the way to the bottom, yeah? Yeah, so the, well, well, each vessel has an internal auger that moves the waste through it. And what it happens is that that uh, dry food waste, that municipal solid waste, is exposed to dry vapor, to vapor, to water vapor at four bars. So it's not a very high pressure. And in and this process, the residence time inside this machine is only 20 minutes. So it's a very fast, very low pressure thermal hydrolysis with vapor. Um, and what, is, what happens is that the organics, when they are exposed to this water vapor for 20 minutes, they break down. So we reduce the size of the particles, of the organic particles. And, and that enables the separation of the organic fraction from the rest of the municipal solid waste. So, and where, where do you get the steam? Where do you get the vapor? The steam gets from a boiler. The boiler, the boiler is there. That's where the steam is produced. So what we do is to burn natural gas to produce steam. Yeah? And then the steam comes from the boiler? Into, into, into the, the in, vessels. In every vessel, yeah. yeah. And the steam is being continuously recirculated. So the only thing that we are doing is to add to add stream to supplement yeah. the existing process because of to supplement the losses of the process. But the process in itself is very effective. For every unit of energy that we burn there to produce steam, we produce five units of energy 
worth of biogas, of yeah. that hydrolyzed biomass. Yeah. This is sterile uh, process in here. If you think about food waste, which is very, very dirty, coming in various different types, and it just controlled so, so clean. It's uh, a, that word is a very important word, sterile, because what we are doing here, by using autoclaves, we are killing all the pathogens. So that is an output. Actually, the, the, there are two outputs from this process, from that vibrating screen there. The unders, which is the separate the organics, but also the overs, the non-organic fraction, both of them are clean, all the pathogens. And on the other side, we will have some samples, and I can show you how our input is and what the two separated fractions really look like. But if you look that way there, you can see the organics falling from the vibrating screen, yeah. right? So that is where the only separation takes place in that vibrating screen. So you have two very simple stage uh, um, steps in this building here, hydrolysis and screening, two very simple steps. So this is the hydrolyzed separated fraction as unders in the vibrating screen. And you can see how it contains over 80 or 90% of organics and all the heavy metals in general fall into that fraction, into the non-organic fraction. And here you will find small pieces of plastics that will be floated out as live residuals during the anaerobic digestion pre-processing and small pieces of glass, like this one, which will be sedimented in, uh, prior to anaerobic digestion. But what you have done very quickly was to go from garbage, from MSW, to the organic fraction of municipal solid waste. This is called OFMSW. This is a hydrolyzed OFMSW. So what we are seeing here this is a non-organic fraction of municipal solid waste where we will see all of the big contaminants, including batteries, containers, pieces of plastic like this. All of this is gonna be in the non-organic fraction. So we can effectively separate heavy metals in here. So in that vibrating screen, because we have reduced the size of the organics, we can effectively separate the organic fraction from the non-organic fraction. And heavy metals will fall in here. Here you will see batteries and so on. So to wrap up this visit onto the EconWord site to visit the Biomac machine, to understand how that machine works and what benefits it gives to you guys, um, Joe, please give us a little bit of bonuses. What what the customer which would buy this, use on their site, run through all of these products, what is the actual benefits uh, financially and, and so on for them to have it? Yes, what we see from most financial models is that when the clients use the output of this technology for biogas production, they get a very a quick payback time from three to five to six years sometimes. And the reason for that is that for every unit of energy that we use to produce this product, to, to, to produce a hydrolyzed organic fraction of municipal solid waste, we get five to seven units of, energies, of energy of, in terms of RNG, yeah? yeah that's incredible. So what, when, when, you, when you say the investment you get, you can get back from three to five to six to seven years. Where is that difference? Is these machines um, different in sizes? No, it or? depends. Uh, what it depends is on how much you integrate into existing infrastructure. For instance, if you just grab the Biomac line and you put it into an existing infrastructure that that is already in place with operations, with scales, with cranes, with with tipping floors then your return investment could be as short as three years, your, your payback. And it's only because your investment because, was small, smaller? No, it's because you're, you're, you are, what you are doing is integrating and making what, it, what already exists more effective. Okay. Which is different if you were to build this whole new facility in a standalone site and you have to do permitting, you have to do new things for a new site, then your payback time will be longer. Yeah? Okay. 
perfect. So guys, this is it for today's video. It was very exciting to myself to understand how this machine works. I was imagining this to work completely different as it is. It's very simple. As you already seen on the video, very, very um, excited, like I said. Thank you, Joe, for having us here today, Pleasure. giving us that opportunity to explore what is that what you manufacture here and what is what is what is this all about? I mean, I truly um, enjoy this because of what you do to the food waste, which we would usually put in the ground and, and forget about, versus you take out all of those organics and we can produce energy to feed your homes guys in gas wise electricity wise it's incredible product so thank you again for thank having you us. very much Dennis. thank you appreciate it